afternoon, everybody. My name is Linda Buchanan. I'm the mayor in the city of North Vancouver, and thank you very much for being here, and I welcome you to the city. It's an honor to be here with you all today. I'd like to thank the, organi the organizers of Women Life Freedom Vancouver for inviting me to be part of today's events. I'd like to also introduce my council. I have Councillor Jessica McElroy. I don't know where they all are, but I have Councillor Don Bell, Councillor Holly Back, Councillor Angela Gerard, Councillor Shubhan Shariari, and Councillor Tony Valente joining me today. I would also like to acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil tooth nations, and we thank them for sharing their lands with us. I would like to thank Premier David Eby, ministers, and my fellow council colleagues, along with Mayor Richard Stewart from Coquitlam, for being here today to recognize this important event. On behalf of the city and council, we want to thank the government of British Columbia and Premier Eby for, our, for the generous contribution to the memorial we are creating here in the city of North Vancouver to honor and remember the 176 people from around the world, with the vast majority from Canada, and seven right here from the North Shore, who lost, lost their lives in the tragic downing of Flight 752, and recognize the fight for freedom and justice in Iran. Here in the city of North Vancouver and the North Shore, we remember Aisha Porgaderi, Fatime Pasavand, Delaram Dadashnajad, Daniel Sackett, Faye Kazarani, Nazar Porshaban Ashibi, and Firaze Mandani. The memories we have of you, the joy you brought, and the overwhelming love you shared with your family and friends will never be forgotten. Last summer, Council unanimously supported my motion asking staff to commission a piece of public art so that there would be a place for people to gather, to process their trauma, remember, heal, and renew their spirits in the fight for justice. With $100,000 in hand from the province, this memorial is one step closer. So thank you again, Premier Evie, for your generous contributions. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. I also want to thank everyone who approached my office with the idea of creating a memorial, including Nazreen Filsouf from the Iranian Canadian Foundation, Hassam Dahimi, Sima Mazare, and Merded Rabar. The past few years have been challenging for all of us, but for those impacted by the downing of Flight PS752, the ongoing revolution in Iran, and the invasion of Ukraine, it has been so much harder than we can ever imagine. The Iranian-Canadian community is a significant part of who we are as a city and our identity. It is critical we stand in solidarity with one another. The city is recognized, this movement, in the sw small way that it can. We have lit up red, white, and green since Friday, and our, ha our flags are half-mast in Civic Plaza. In Iran, people have called out women, life, freedom. For many, this has come with great personal risk. On behalf of Council, I want to express our solidarity with those fighting for equity, freedom, and autonomy in Iran and around the world. And we offer to all of you for keeping this, re we thank you for keeping this revolution alive. We all have much work to do to create a better world that is safe for all. May Moss's name never be forgotten. Freedom for Iran. Freedom for women, freedom for Ukraine, love, peace, equity. I would like to just now provide a moment of opportunity for Councillor Shari Shariari, who I will say is the first Canadian born Persian of per Iranian descent elected to a council in British Columbia to say a few words before I turn it over to Minister Wilkinson. Thank you, Mayor Kisana.
Woman Life Freedom. 176 lives uh, lost. Human beings, Canadians, families, children, students. This is not. This is not just an Iranian community concern. This is a Canadian concern. Unanswered questions remain to be unanswered. Those responsible must face justice. I stand in solidarity with the families in their painful quest for information, transparency, and justice. In, in a country that initiated the first charter of human rights, protesting women, men, children are killed on the streets or killed days after being captured. I stand in solidarity with them in their quest for freedom and justice. May light win over darkness. به نام خدای رنگین کمان برای خدا نور محسا و کیان من شروین شهریاری نماینده منتخب شورای شهر نورت منکوبر سه سال بعد از فاجعه پی 752 هنوز خانواده های قمدار منتظر اجاره اجرای ادالت هستند. من هم در کنار این خانواده ها هستم جوان های معترض همینجور کشته میشن مردم که خواستار کرامت آزادی و ادالت هستند و شعار زن زندگی آزادی را فریاد میزنند با آنها با گلوله برخورد میشوند در کشوری که اولین منشور حقوق بشر را به دنیا اهدا کرد کسی که اعتراض کند یا به او شلیک می شود و یا در خیابان کشته می شود و یا به دار آویخته می شود من در کنار این مردم, ای مردم هستم و خواهم بود به امید پیروزی نور بر تاریکی زند زندگی آزادی